Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to talk about the square pyramid, or better yet, the regular square pyramid, which means that here we have a pyramid. The base of the pyramid is a square, and all four of the slanted sides are equal to one another. So in other words, if the distance from A to D and the distance from D to C, from C to B and from B to A are all the same, and then we have a point, the vertex at the very top right here, which is directly situated over the very center of the base, we have a regular square pyramid. Now notice we have some names here. We have the base, the face, the edge, the vertex, and the lateral edge. So what are those on this particular pyramid? Well, the base is the side at the very bottom of the pyramid on which it sits. So it's called the base. Then we have the four slanted faces and we have the bottom face. That's, the base is also called a face. So there's five faces to the pyramid. The four that are slanted, that are triangular in shape, and one at the bottom which is square shape. Then we have eight edges. Notice that the base has four edges, one, two, three, four. And then each of the, the uh, sides, the slanted sides, also have an edge on each side. They're shared, and so therefore there's four edges all the way around. So four that are lateral, and then four around the base. That's a total of eight edges to the pyramid. There are five vertices. There's four belonging to the corners making the base, and then there's one right on top, so a total of five vertices. And the lateral edge is the, the edge or the rib which separates the slanted side. So there's one rib, there's another one, there's a third one in the back, there's a fourth one. So there's, a, oh, that's the fourth one right here in the back. So there's a total of four ribs or what they call lateral edges. Now, we have something called the center of the base. And the way to find that is the same way as to find the center of a square. You draw a line from this corner to that corner, a line from this corner to that corner where the two lines cross. That's where you have the center of the base, which should be directed directly beneath the vertex at the top of the pyramid. The slant height is the distance from the side to the vertex at the top, starting from the middle of one of the sides forming the base. So starting in the middle and going along the slide on the side here, this is called the slant height. And the the height of the pyramid, or the altitude of the pyramid, is the distance from the center of the base all the way to the vertex in a vertical line. So this red line right here represents the altitude of the pyramid. Okay, now also inside this pyramid there's three recognizable right triangles. So the first one is the red one right here. Let me grab my red pen. So we have this vertical line right here, which is the altitude of the pyramid, which is the distance from the center of the base to the vertex. So this red line is represented by this red line right here. And then this line right here from the center of the base to the middle of one of the sides of the base is the, it's what we call half of the base edge. And notice that this angle right here, the right angle is the same as this right angle right there. And then we have this line that runs from the middle of the side of the base to the very top of the vertex. This here is called the slant height, which we have listed right there. So this forms a right triangle right there. The second right triangle is formed by the blue lines, a little bit more difficult to see. Notice that this line right here is also the altitude of the pyramid, just the same as the red line right there. And then we have a line that runs from the center of the base to the edge right here, to the vertex on the corner of the base. So this line right here is half of the base diagonal, because remember the line that runs across from corner to corner on the base is half the diagonal, is the full diagonal, so this is called a half diagonal. And this angle right here is a right 90 degree angle, which is this angle right there. And finally, we have the line here that forms the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is the line that goes along the rib or the lateral edge of the triangle, and that's a slanted line right here. The third right triangle is made by the purple one here, which is basically a half of one of the lateral sides or the slanted sides. So you can see that we have the vertical line right here, which is this vertical line right here, which is called the slant height. Then we have this line right here, which is half of the length of the base, so called half of the base edge. And then this right angle right there, let me get my purple color right here, this right angle right there is the right angle right here. And finally we have this line which runs along the rib or the lateral edge which is this line right here 
form the lateral edge. So notice that the regular square pyramid forms a number of right triangles and it's necessary to be able to find each one of those within the figure of the pyramid and that's how it's done.